What's up guys, my name's Derek, and welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. Alright guys, this is going to be another episode of Tech Time Thursday, and on this episode, we're going to do, I guess we'll call it a science experiment. We're going to be playing with two-part pour from from U.S. Composites. So in case you can't tell what this is, this is kind of a mold of a funnel. So the uh, last little remnants inside my funnel as I was pouring some, this is what happened. It swells up, it took shape, and it hardened right there. Now for the most part, this stuff doesn't stick to plastic, so you can pop it right loose, get it out. I'll show you another full solid piece. This is the inside of a funnel. This all swole up and got hard. It was the last little bit pouring out of the funnel as I was pouring some. And this is actually pretty hard. Let me, let me show you an example right here. This stuff is as hard as concrete. It is no joke. So here on the ground behind me, I got my buckets that I've been working with. So I'll give you a look at what they are. This is from a company called U.S. Composites. You can see the web address right here on the bottom of the buckets, uscomposites.com. And uh, it's essentially a 16 pound density pour foam. So it comes in smaller kits than what you see. This is, this is one of the big kits where you'll get these two five gallon buckets. You get a part A and a part B. Now essentially one part is like a, an epoxy, and one part is like a hardener. And you mix the two together at a one to one ratio mix it up really really well and then pour it now downside of this stuff is you don't get a lot of working time it says right here 45 second pour times right there on both labels so from the time they start mixing together you gotta you gotta count you gotta watch yourself because you got 45 seconds to get this stuff wherever you're trying to put it now this is some awesome stuff um i've got a few little examples like these i showed you but people express interest in seeing this stuff work, seeing it expand, seeing me mix some up. So that's what I'm going to do today on this episode of Tech Time Thursday. I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to mix up a small batch, one of my little mixing buckets, and I'm just going to set up some cameras and let y'all watch it. Let y'all see it in a quick time lapse and uh, see it. I'm going to have another camera set up in real time, and we're going to get some different angles. going to let y'all see it expand and... Um, then we'll check it out afterwards. We'll beat it on the ground, let it harden. So this stuff does, as I just mentioned, it has a 45 second working time that you uh, basically got to get it mixed up and get it poured and get it wherever you're gonna, where you're gonna put it. But then it does have a cure time as well. Um, my experience, it says two, three minutes. Right now, the temperature's a little bit cool where I'm at. It's probably high 50s, maybe 60 degrees. Temperature is big. If it's warm, this stuff expands really fast. If it's cool, it gives you a little more working time. That's something I've played with. The downside of having it cool where you get a little more working time with it is it stays thicker and it's harder to pour. So that's where there's been a balance as far as um, time versus temperature versus thickness versus how fast you can get it poured. Some you can play with on your own, but typically they recommend working with this stuff between 75 and 80 degrees. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. We're gonna get this camera set up. I'm gonna get some footage rolling, get this stuff poured, let y'all see it expand.
it's been about 10 minutes. This is where it's at right now. So you can see how much it expanded. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not fully cured. This is actually really, really, really hot right now. Um, yeah, it feels scorching hot. Uh, I don't have my temp gun handy or else I'd grab it and put it on it. But no, when this stuff mixes and starts expanding, it gets hot. Uh, I remember measuring some on the Blazer on Project SPL when I was working on it. I know I measured some upwards of 130 plus degrees. Um, and that's what was on my glass because I actually got nervous at one point when it got, got over 130 degrees. I was like, holy cow, this stuff might get hot enough to break my glass. It never did, but just know it's, I can hold it, but it's hot. And it, it almost feels like burning my hand hot. So anyway, I'm going to give this some time to cure. We're just going to cut the video. When I cut back, we're going to do a strength test. This is a, I know it's not done expanding yet. Or it might be done expanding, but it's not done curing because there's just so much heat left in this thing. So we'll be right back, do a strength test on this. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I think it's been about an hour. There's still barely a little temperature left in this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, bust this out of here. So let me get some gloves on real quick. Sometimes this stuff will leave a little bit of a residue inside of there and it's, it's a sticky gunk. So when you're dealing with this stuff, wear gloves because um, you can see I've got some on me right now and it's a pain to get off. <sighs> Even trying to wash your hands in straight acetone, it's a real pain to get off. So I'm trying to not get any more messy. All right, yeah, that's, um, let's see, where's my hammer? So that's, that's pretty solid. Yeah, barely putting some little dents into it, so I don't think it's all the way cured. Either way, I might have to cut this thing off. Let's go to the ground. So, uh, yep, y'all got a good view here. The longer this stuff cures, the harder it gets. this uh, thing off but so far you got to see it in uh, kind of some real time and some fast forward footage action swelling up let me know what you think of it so far See if my knife will cut through this. I ain't sharpened this thing in a while. There we go. Now you can get a good look at that. Yeah, I can still feel some slight warmness in here. I bet it's still soft on the inside. Hadn't cured all the way through. So uh, I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer before I really, really bust up into it. And uh, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll really weigh it on it. <clears throat> all right, we're back. This thing's had plenty of time to cure now. So let's give it a little, little test. Give it a light smack with a hammer. Barely a dent, if y'all can even see that. 
Those those are pretty car pretty good hits. Yeah, that's a good whack. You can see barely the slightest dent in the top of that. Yep, just a little dent. So as far as I'm concerned, this stuff is every bit, uh, every bit as hard as concrete at uh, a small, tiny fraction of the weight. This weighs nothing. I mean, if this was a chunk of concrete, I, I would know it. But this weighs almost nothing, and it is super, super hard. Other thing, uh, besides the weight being advantage over concrete, it is, as you see from it getting a slight little dent in it, it, it does have a, 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 a small flexibility to it. So it can flex just a little amount and absorb an impact rather than crack. So if you were using something like concrete in a build and it takes an impact, it would be tempted to, to crack. Whereas this stuff could flex just slightly enough where it's not going to crack like concrete would. Um, and, that, and then that depends, of course, how thick you're putting it. But yeah, I've been using this stuff a lot. I got a ton of it in Project SPL. It's working great. I'm impressed. It's well worth the money. If you're ever considering using it in a project of yours, do it. You will not regret it. Um, but that's it. Any questions about the stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, make sure to check out Project SPL. Got a ton of this stuff in that build. It's working out great. But uh, to go ahead and wrap this video up here, since you all have seen how well this stuff works, you've seen how it expands, you've seen how to use it, how to mix it. So that's it. Remember guys, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, click that thumbs up button, give us a like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Let me know any ideas you have for a future Tech Time Thursday. I'll be happy to do a video for you. But uh, that's it guys, till next time. We'll see y'all then.